I racked up like $15,000 in debt. <laughs> Everything I had planned to do today, aka cook, meal prep, go to the gym. I just need to be a rich stay at home wife at this point. Like I'm just I'm just always tired. Hey. No, the no. You don't even know what I was about to ask. So if you follow me on Instagram, you know that I am pretty much a neat freak and I love things being organized, but my family sometimes <laughs> they just be messing everything up. So yesterday I literally spent the whole day reorganizing the pantry which i will show you here okay now that y'all saw the before let me show y'all the after so oh, see something already out of place and ain't even been 24 hours yet but I try to reorganize everything. I don't have all of my clear bins in yet, so I'm improvising with some other containers and stuff I got from Dollar Tree. But it looks way better than it did before. Then I turn around and try to organize the refrigerator and realize we ain't on the groceries. But I'm gonna show you the Did you just burp? Really? You disgust me. I'm gonna show y'all the before of the refrigerator. And here is the after. The refrigerator is not as organized as I would like it because already something's out of place. But it looks better than the day yesterday. Bust it. Leave it. I said leave it, not eat it. A company by the name of All Ladio reached out to me for a collaboration to review their two tier countertop fruit store fashion. Instructions. It's pretty simple, actually pretty easy. You have two options of putting it together. Option one, you can put the basket on the top. Option two, you can actually just leave it as a standalone, which will kind of be like this here. But this one is way wider, as you can see. I hate the current fruit basket that I have. You can go with option one or option two. We're gonna go with option one. Yeah, so easy. A caveman can do it. final product put together it is very sturdy as you can see it can hold bananas potatoes and apples i think this is more practical than this one because as you can see you can only put like mixed fruit in there with the bananas hanging and here you can separate it so nothing spoils nothing else so thanks babe you did a great job this multi-functional fruit basket currently retails for $25.59 but you can save 20% with my coupon code that's on your screen as well as in the description bar and you can save an additional 10% with no coupon code required. You do have to hurry because this sale definitely ends on the 28th of July so if you're interested the Amazon link will be in my description bar. Hey y'all so it's 11 o'clock at night and I'm trying to get my skincare routine going these things are so thick at first i thought it was like multiple ones but it's just one but i wanted to just come chit chat with y'all and let y'all know how july no 2021 has whipped my y'all know with me i'm very transparent i'm gonna tell y'all like it is i don't sugarcoat nothing and i don't keep nothing from y'all right i am broke <laughs> but no in all seriousness like i have spent an abundance amount of money since the beginning of 2021 since they let us back outside like they need to they need to shut it down they need to lock it all back up so i can get my money back on track but 
in all seriousness, y'all, like I am broke like for real, for real. So I have four credit cards, right? One with a $10,000 balance, two with the $5,000 balance, and one with a $700 balance. I maxed them all out. <laughs> First off, y'all probably wondering why I haven't been posting on Instagram, like my Insta stories, anything like that, is because I had to take a break. The reason why I was spending so much is because I was seeing so much. Like every time, all right, I'm about to just take these off because it's literally, the steam is making it slip down, but it feels so good. Yeah, so every time I would go on Instagram, I would see an ad for something. I would buy something. I put my card information. I would see an influencer post something like, oh, I need that, buy something. I would go to the mall, oh, buy something. Like it was always repetitious buying and I'm blessed and I'm grateful that I can afford to, you know, spend a check and get it right back. But at the same time, the amount that I was spending was more than what I was bringing in, you know what I'm saying? So over time, buying bags and clothes and shoes and taking trips and things like that, like somehow over the span of like three, four months, I racked up like $15,000 in debt. If you're new to credit cards, I'm not. Credit cards is pretty much like a revolving loan. Like anything that you spend, you have to pay back, you know what I'm saying? So. With me, I was like, oh, if I spend $2,000 here, you know, at the end of the month with my savings and all that, I'll just pay it back. Okay, if I spent $2,000 here and I spent $2,000 there and I spent $2,000 there, you know, that debt is accumulating, right? So with the credit card that I had with $10,000 on it, I had reached like $9,500 within a month. Within a month. Like, sis, what are you doing? Needless to say, I have put myself on a $300 budget. That's not including gas and groceries and other toiletries and things that I need. And the rest of the money left over from my checks on the 1st and the 15th, because if you don't know military, we only get paid twice a month. The money that I have left over, aside from my budget and bills, will be going straight to aggressively paying down credit card debt. I've already started with this check that I just received on the 15th, I paid off two credit cards, actually. It's just like, why did I do this to myself? So if y'all don't know, I lost my grandmother last year and it literally, it took a toll on me, I'm not gonna lie. How I deal with my emotions and stress and depression is I eat and I shop and I was doing a lot of both. Even being in debt right now is further depressing, but. I'm at the point where I realize I messed up and I'm again I'm just blessed and grateful that I can come out of this it's gonna take me some months to get out of it hopefully by the end of December that all my credit card debt will be paid off I'm usually very responsible with my finances but this time yeah y'all look at look at this aside from that I know a lot of y'all are waiting on the Hilton Head um, vacation vlog but y'all i'm still traumatized from that <laughs> i'm still in the process of editing it i hope that it will be up this weekend because this video is sponsored and i already received payment this video took precedence over that video so that's why you're seeing this first but yeah i'm still traumatized over that vacation so it'll definitely be up soon and prepare to be shook <laughs> that's pretty much it for this chit chat y'all it's going on 11:30. 30 i have to get up pretty early so i'm gonna end the vlog here and i will talk to y'all in my next video bye